um, you probably noticed that when I'm doing the boom portion of my boom chicka strum, I'm getting a fairly clean and precise sound. Um, I'm getting a single note as opposed to what you might be experiencing. You might be having a little trouble with consistently, accurately hitting just a single string. Um, you might be hitting some adjacent strings on accident, and that's okay. So I want to make sure you're feeling comfortable with that. I don't want you to feel discouraged. In fact, I almost recommend that you start out not worrying too much about that precise, clean, single boom note. Because um, by doing so, most people will use, uh, it'll create too much tension in their right hand. They'll come in really stiff and tense. You want to hold the static shape, but you don't want to be holding it tense. You want as much relaxation as you can possibly get. Uh, during these moments of learning how to do this motion. So if you have something more like, if your boom sounds more like a small strum, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, that's okay. It doesn't have to be really precise. Um, as a side exercise, this isn't something you really need to move forward with this course. But as far as just improving that precision and accuracy, there are some exercises you can do. The most basic one that I would recommend is to just switch up which note you're hitting with your boom. Uh, so which string you're hitting. Right now we're playing the open third string, then we're brushing and hitting the fifth string on the uh note, right? Well, we can change that boom note to make it maybe the open second string. We can also change it and, and aim for the fourth string. And go back to the third string. By mixing those up, it'll give us a little exercise, a little uh, practice um, getting into the different zones and honing in on, on particular strings. Again, this is a side exercise you can do. This is a skill you want to hone as you move forward but it's not necessary just to get you started with that basic motion and to get you moving through the rest of this course and playing along with some songs here. So let's take a little closer look at that and then we'll move on to the rest of the material. Here's a little closer look as we alternate the strings that we hit on the boom portion of our boom chicka strum. And again, we're just alternating between either the fourth, the third, or the second string. And I'm going to start on the third. Move to the fourth. Second. Third. Now I'm going to move around and start at the fourth and work up for three, two. Again, you can just have fun with this. This is just a way to practice um, getting you towards a more refined and precise approach. But don't be afraid and don't be discouraged if you're not able to zone in on a particular string with any kind of accuracy and consistency. If you're just aiming for a string, you're doing good enough and you might have a rougher sound like boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka. That's all right. As long as you got the motion down, you can continue on with the course. You can refine that stuff later, but that's a good way to do it. Aim at those individual strings. Work at getting a nice, clear, single string tone on your boom note.